So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So to get it started off, remember that with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, you want to equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. And when you're ready, just come to the clothing store, set your spawn location to last location, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to swap character. So remember that you are going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, make sure you put on the outfit that you don't want to lose. And also for this um, outfit, you don't need to have the white joggers. The glitch is going to give you the white joggers. So if you don't got the white joggers right now, don't worry about it because you're going to get them from doing the glitch. And make sure that you main a female character and make sure she's on the left side when you come in here. Because this will not work for male characters and it's not going to work if your female is on the right so she got to be on the left side but anyways once you get in here you want to go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete under your second character just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters are going to walk in and then you're going to get the edit option for your second character once you get an edit option go ahead and select it and when your character is going you're going to get that alert right there just go ahead and accept that also when your second character comes in here if it ended up being a female change it into a male if it was already a male, just leave it as a male, go ahead and save and continue, make a random name for it, and then take the picture. Once you take the picture and it's loading, it may or may not play the Casino DLC trailer. For me, it's going to play it, but for some of you guys, it may not play it. So whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. Once you get spawned inside your new session, the first thing you want to do is open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. So as you can see for me, there are no clothing stores in my session. And if you guys don't have any clothing stores in your session, all you got to do is go to online and switch sessions or find a new session. And then the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. But if you do see the clothing stores inside your session, make your way over to the nearest one. And once again, if you don't see any clothing stores, just with sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So once you get inside the clothing store, first you want to go to the top section, go to track jackets, and buy the green track jacket. So come to the top section, go to track jackets, and buy the green track jacket. So once you got that, you just want to go ahead and back out. You want to stay in the top section, go to tank tops, and buy the camel smugglers tank top. So just stay in the top section, 
go to tank tops and purchase the camo smugglers tank top after you got them right here go to the pants section go to the shorts and purchase a tan striped boxer shorts so just come over here to the pants section go to the shorts and purchase a tan striped boxer shorts So these right here, once you got that, make your way over to the shoe section, go to the sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops, which should be the first one. So just come over to the shoe section, go to the sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit on your main character that you didn't want to lose was in slot 12 or like slot 20, you will just save it in an empty slot. So just save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So once you got the outfit saved, just go ahead and back out, open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. When you get spawned outside after taking the easy way out, just hit your pause button, go to online, and click on creator. Once you get loaded inside a creator, click on create a race, and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific, I just put in random stuff for it. And then go ahead and take the photo, and then put the maximum players on two, and then set the route type on point to point. Once you got that, hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit your back button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down. And then back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it. And then back out of that, and then click on checkpoints. Now, when you're making a race, it has to be 1.00 miles long. So just go ahead and make the race um, one mile long. Sometimes it might not let you make it up to a mile long, but if it doesn't, just go ahead and try it like that. But anyway, once you're done making it, 1.00 miles long or however long it lets you make it just hit your back button twice either circle or b and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out Once you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. When you load in, just hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. Once you get in here, when it loads, you're gonna go over to your second character and you're going to delete him. So make sure you go over to your second character that got the outfit on because you don't want to delete your main character by accident. Go over to your second character that got the outfit on, excuse me, and you're gonna go ahead and delete him. Once you delete your second character, two new characters are gonna walk in. And from here, you're gonna hit your back button. So either B or circle, so you get taken into single player.
when you get loaded into single player all you're gonna do is hit your pass button go to online go to play gt online and just go inside of a invite only session so all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session When you get loaded inside your online session, the first thing you want to do is save your outfit uh, that you know, didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So make sure you save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. But once you that got that, you just want to go ahead and supported. go to the deadline outfit and buy the white deadline outfit. So just go to the deadline outfit and buy the white deadline outfit. So once you got that, you just want to go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar, create it, go to versus, and you're going to start up crook cops. When you start up crook cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. If you don't put the clothing on player owned, the glitch is not going to work. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. So once you get inside of here, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad only once. So just come down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad only one time. And you're going to have this outfit for now. Once you load inside of here, all you're gonna do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, and then you're gonna open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you get loaded inside your online session, you're gonna go ahead and come save this outfit. And when you save it, make sure you leave a space in between the component and this outfit. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you when I get inside of ammunition. So like this right here, just leave a space in between the component and this outfit. Once you got that, just come over here to the top section, go to utility vest and buy the ice plate carrier. So just come over here to the tops, go to the utility vest and buy the ice plate carrier. So once you've got that, come save it in between uh, the component and the outfit that you saved. So make sure you save it in between the component and the outfit that you saved. Once you got that, just go ahead and back out. Go back to the outfit and put on the white deadline outfit. So just come back over here to the outfit and hit right on the D-pad. Look for the deadline outfit and put on the white deadline outfit. So once you've put that on, just go ahead and back out, 
hit your pies, but I ain't go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rock star, creative, go to verses, and start up crook cops again. And one more time, when you start up crook cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. If you don't put the clothing on player owned, the glitch will not work. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. This time, when you get inside of here, just go down to owned outfits, hit right on the D pad three times, and then hit left on the D pad twice. So just go down to the owned outfit, hit right on the D pad three times, and left on the D pad two times. So once you load inside the job, all you're gonna do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either the rebreather or the earpiece, whichever one you bought, and then you're gonna open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you load inside your session, you should have the final outfit on. So from here, just go ahead and save it. And you can save this and keep the other one without the vest on it. But the only one that you have to delete is the component because you can't equip it or put it on any other outfit. So make sure you um, save this and you can save the other one without the vest. But make sure you delete the component because you can't do anything with the component. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it. Share, subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos. And yeah, that's going to be it.